Hi everyone! So I've been wanting to put together this video for a while. I've actually made a couple of dry runs of it in the past. You might have seen snippets of it on Instagram. Um, since we're now all in this situation where we might be shut inside for a while, uh, some of you might be looking for projects that you can do around the studio to keep yourself sane or to give yourself something to do uh, or to take advantage of the time for all of those projects that you haven't had time for. So I'm going to talk to you today about a couple of really simple things that you can do for a flex shaft that maybe hasn't been maintained in a while. Uh, maybe you have one that is starting to make like a weird grindy noise and you're like, I don't want to have to replace it. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of really easy things that you can do right in your studio that will fix up your flex shaft and probably make it so that that grindy noise goes away. Uh, so I'm going to start with the easiest and also the least expensive way that you can double check your flex shaft. So uh, it will require that you're going to need to order something called motor brushes. I'm going to show you where those are found in the flex shaft. And I'm also going to uh, tell you uh, in the comments how you can order them. And it's really just as simple as going to a website for uh, Fordham, which is the maker of flex shafts, or contacting the manufacturer of the flex shaft that you own, or even going through a website like Rio Grande. But to start with, the motor brush. OK, so this is my motor. It's a Fordham SR. It's a pretty powerful motor. This one's also really new. And so this one doesn't actually need as much servicing as most of your flex shafts do if they haven't been serviced in a couple of years. Uh, but I'm going to show you where to find the motor brushes. So you're going to, if you're looking at your motor from the front, for almost all flex shafts, this is true. The motor brushes are found on either side. So that's side one, side two. And I'm going to get in kind of close and you can see uh, there's something that looks like a big, wide, flat head. And so all you're going to do is take a simple flat head screwdriver and you're just going to unscrew it. And in a moment, you're going to see something kind of springy pop out. Ta-da! Kind of like a pop goes the weasel, but on your flex shaft. And it looks like this. So if you look at it from the side, Let's hold that up a little bit closer to the camera. If you look at it from the side, you'll see that little gentle curve. That's the part that's going right up against the motor. And after a while, these guys will get worn down to a little nub. And when that happens, that is usually what's causing that rattly sound in your motor. And so this is going to be your first line of defense to fix it. So really, all you have to do is just what I did. You're going to unscrew that cap. You're going to pop out the motor brush and you're going to pop your new ones in. And that's it. So I'm going to pop this guy back in. Uh, depending on what motor you have, sometimes they are very directional. I'll show you this one from this angle. It is a rectangle. A few times with other motors that I've had, they've been square, and so it doesn't really matter. Uh, this one has a really specific direction, both for this part to go in and for this part to go in. So this part, the brush itself, is going to go back in, and you can see you look inside that housing that it's got a really specific direction so I'm going to put that back in and you got to press it down this gets a little bit tricky I'm going to try to hold it while I do it but you've got to keep that spring in place while moving that cap on it's sort of like uh, Indiana Jones when he's lifting the the skull off the top of that rock to you know try to keep it from moving and he replaces it with a bag of sand. It's just like that. We're sort of like Indiana Jones in this moment. So I'm going to keep a finger on there. I'm going to screw this back in. So that's it. I mean, really, that is, like I said, your first line of defense. So check your motor brushes first. Uh, nine times out of 10, that is the only thing that I need to do to get it to sound good again. Most of my flex shafts, I have a couple behind me that you can see right here. Uh, the one on the end here is really old. Uh, so old that the switch is super, super old. Uh, the other one is about 15 years old. Uh, this one here, if I had to guess, I would say it's about 25 or 30 years old. Uh, this one here, I know that I've had for at least 15 years. Both of them I do service on a pretty regular basis, and that's why they've lasted me as long as they have. Uh, one of them I bought used, 
and once again I was able to rehabilitate it for like less than sixty dollars and with the standard flex shaft costing upwards of like 300 you're much better off just getting the repair kit and doing most of this yourself it doesn't take that long and if you maintain it it's going to last you a long time so now i'm going to show you the other thing that you should do pretty regularly and a lot of this will depend on how often you actually use your flex shaft so if you use it daily run it for a few hours a day you're going to want to do this next step probably every six months uh, if you're more of a once a week, once every couple of weeks user of your flex shaft, you could probably wait a year. Uh, but it's also a really, really easy step. And if fixing the motor brush doesn't make your motor sound better, then this would be another next step. And that's you're gonna, what you're going to need to do here. You're going to need to open up the shaft. And I know we use a lot of hilarious language when referring to it. Okay, so what you're going to want is a small screwdriver you can get a watchmaker screwdriver which is what i have uh, the other thing that's good is an eyeglass screwdriver and that's because you need to get into this part that's pretty tiny i'm going to get in a little closer and it's called the set screw so it's this part right here uh, so this is at the base of the motor this is where the shaft actually hooks into the motor and what you're going to do is you're going to unscrew this. Uh, normally, I would lie this flat on my table here. Uh, because of the angle of the camera, it's a little hard to show. Let me see if I can tilt it down a bit so that you can watch. So, unscrew it. Okay. Uh, depending on where you're working, you'll probably want a little container to put this little part into so you can find it later. So I just have a little plastic dish next to me. I'm going to do that. And then this part's really easy. This, this is called the sheath, which is the rubber outing, outer coating. Uh, first, you're going to want to take off the hand piece, and for most of your flex shafts, you just give it a really gentle tug and it comes right off. Uh, but you'll need that because the next part is to take this rubber part of your flex shaft and slide it off. And now you have the rubber sheath taken off, and we're just going to set that to the side. Uh, one thing to note, a lot of the Fordham repair kits actually come with an extra sheath, which is great because that rubber can break down over time. Uh, the other thing your repair kit should come with is a bottle of the Fordham Flexible Shaft Lubricant. And I'm just going to take a little lint-free cloth that I've used, you know, for this many, many times before. You're just going to squeeze a little out. I know, guys, I know. It's like being 12 again with the jokes, but whatever you're going to lube the shaft that's just what it's called uh you want to use a, like a light ish amount it you don't need to go super heavy because eventually it can actually like come out through your hand piece if you go too heavy on it and you'll notice that uh it puts a little bit of what looks like dirt onto the cloth and that's just from the metal in the coil rubbing against the metal of the shaft it just gets uh, that that friction over time just deposits tiny minute bits of metal and it's nothing to be alarmed about. Uh, sometimes if you haven't done this in a really long time, what you'll want to do is before you lube it, I know, uh, you'll want to take one of these cloths and actually run it over the shaft first to clean it off. Uh, but since this one isn't that old, hasn't been run that long, I've only had it maybe four months, I'm just going to give it a light coating all the way along. Okay. And then we're going to take the sheath, remember which end is which, and you're just going to slide the shaft back in. And you're going to put the set screw back on. Uh, okay. uh, for right now, I'm going to leave this lying down on the table and not quite show it to you because it's really just as simple as uh, putting the screw back in. It's just, you kind of need it laying flat to get it right. Here, I'll 
I'll tilt this down so you can see a little bit better. So I'm just having this lie flat just because the screw is so small, there's not a lot to grab onto. Okay. okay. And now this is back on. And now you want to put your hand piece back on. And if you haven't done this before, like taking your hand piece on and off your flex shaft, I'll just show you inside here. You'll see what looks like a little C shape. Let's see if I can get it to focus. See that little C shape? So you want that to line up with this little pointy part of the key, of the chuck. So it looks like a key going into a lock and you're just gonna pop that back on. Uh, what I sometimes do is I run the motor just lightly. Oh, <laughs> uh, so funny story when I put this back down uh, I accidentally turned it off, so let me turn it on, and then now I can run the foot pedal. And you hear that click, that means that it's in. And you can hear it's purring away and sounds great. So guys, that is all there is to it. So these two things are going to fix about 90% of your problems. Uh, any other problems that you have with the flux shaft, let me know, and I'll see if I can put together a video for that too. Uh, for now, thanks so much for watching and listening, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.